Hi everyone, welcome back. We're now on to episode 4 of Tharn Type. So we are a quarter of the way through. This is usually the point, I believe, where the story will really pick up. And we're going to get a lot more character development. Probably the storyline is now going to get really intense. So Techno seems annoyed at something here. Yeah. Oh, this is about the incident from the previous episode. But why sh I mean, well, no, he does need to apologise to a degree, but he shouldn't have to apologise for everything that was said. It's not about pride. If he's not 100% at fault, why should he apologise? Oh, so he does know. Oh, that's nice. This own kind thing is, we're not a... There comes the touch. There comes the response. It's not a disease. Why does everyone need to be straight? Wouldn't that just make the world boring? Wouldn't you kind of need colour? Diversity? He's definitely got an attraction to him because he does those weird little things there. I don't know, it's definitely an attraction of some sort. Yeah, yeah, he is a troublemaker. Well, yeah, he's attracted to him. Of course he can live with him all this time. How many classes can they skip before they get in trouble? You've missed a whole week worth of classes. That's a lot. Yeah, do you remember how he reacted last time you grabbed him like this? See, stop doing this! Well, you are guilty to a degree, just not 100% to blame. So, this must have gone beyond just being molested by this guy. Yeah, but how would you to know at 11 years old? Well, if you were a kid, how were you supposed to fight him back? Really dark moment. Yeah, yeah. 
This guy just stop being so nosy. So what? That's their business. Yeah, he is that. Well, yeah, now we know. <laughs> He's trying to tell you something. This guy's always smiling. <laughs> See what I mean? He says it with a smile on his face. That's so creepy. If you're going to apologize, then he should. Yes. Exactly. Uh, I'm sorry, didn't you take a picture and then also touch him and then post about it? Sexual tension. Yeah, uh, see, language like that. That's true, that is true. But at the same time, he had reasons to act the way he did. Well, obviously, he likes him. <laughs> what it is. Do you think so? Because I don't. It's a really long flashback. Oh, you know how to get to them, don't you? Pretend to cry. Ah, uh, okay. So you just want to have a private life. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Why does everyone find out something so quickly? Everyone is so nosy. That sound effect. Well, he didn't say he was crazy in love with him, he just said he liked him. It's true, though. <laughs> so he finally went back to class. Uh. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Drunk, okay. Has time passed since that previous scene? Mm. 
So it's not the next morning. And I thought you weren't interested. Also, is everyone going to hear them? Because these walls aren't exactly thick. <laughs> I imagine Mew is a really good kisser. The way he moves his lips indicates that. See? Just the way he goes all for it in the scene, I imagine he's a really good kisser. Oh yeah, now you're enjoying the kiss. The sensation. Yeah. But it must be good if you're in pain already, if you're sore. Seriously, watch what you're saying. These slurs are just stupid. Fourteen. Um, what is the age of consent in Thailand? Yeah, he didn't say he hadn't slept with a woman. That's your choice. To not feel a thing. Hmm. Oh, yep, you would come quickly if you knew who was calling you. No. <gasps> Does he not eat at home? Does he what? Do they not realize that they're acting like a couple? The amount of food. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Mr. Only One Time, yeah? Okay. See, this is really intimate. For people who are only supposed to be just having sex, this is way more a couple thing to do. So that was the end of episode 4 of Farm Type. I had a feeling things would start to pick up because if there's only 12 episodes, you need to start packing in a bit more. And obviously this is what we're going to get. We're going to get them ramming in a lot more because we need to build a relationship up there. We need to have the conflict. I'm sure someone else is going to come into this to try and break them up because Type is only just starting to realise his feelings for Than. And he's not going to want to think he's gay right now. Either there's a girl who's going to come into this or one of Than's exes because there was a reference. Or, shall I say, 
type insulted the men that Thaan has been with and his reaction to that means that he obviously cares for every single ex that he's had. I really am not a fan of the characters that are supposed to be gay in this or LGBTQ+. They've got some funny moments that the guy likes to smile a lot even when they're in trouble but overall I feel they're not a great representation of just that community as a whole because people come in all varieties act in all different manners and I feel like it's just building on a stereotype to make us not like them and I'd rather whistle different scopes of someone's sexuality than just have it be feminine, masculine there are such things in between but we're not seeming to get that with these and also I feel like they're not going to be in it again it, it felt like it was just a very quick fill a part of the episodes to have this conflict with them and then they're probably just going to disappear. I could be wrong though. Types, slurs, you know, they were using not one of your kind, sissies, those things of that nature. It's his way of regressing when he's uncomfortable and scared. But he's really got to start learning to taper off what he says using those slurs, especially to someone who is gay and someone you might be attracted to, is always going to be a hindrance in a relationship because that's your go-to, which is to insult them. And it, you can see it's his age, what's happened to him, and just the lack of understanding. But he does not think before he speaks, which is something he said he does do, which he doesn't. He is a terrible liar, by the way. But I'm hoping, I know, it's, I know it's his way of dealing with an issue in a situation, but these slurs are really starting to become bothersome. It's, it's time to move into the new millennium. It's, it's, it's 2020 now. I get the feeling Long is attracted to Tharn. The, the little kind of stealing of the pen and the little elements that he does. He's almost as if he's flirting with him. We're trying to act innocent and sweet because that's what he thinks Tharn likes. But Tharn is obviously not interested in him because I don't see him reacting to Long's flirtation at all. Unless down the line there's some sort of reaction between them. I doubt it though. I, I just think there's something about Long that I don't trust. We're not getting enough of him yet, but enough to know that he is going to be continuously in this story. So I kind of need to see where they're going to go with him. I've got my eye on him. So we finally find out what happened to Type. And by the sounds of it, he was taken advantage of in a sexual manner by that much older man. And just hearing his story and how he... He's more upset that he couldn't fight back, he couldn't protect himself. He was naive, but he was a child. I mean, children obviously aren't going to think of those sexual proclivities. At that age, the man took advantage of him, he touched him, he did things to him. And now you get an understanding of why he's so afraid of gay people, because he doesn't want to go through that again. That's something that he had no control over. I mean, he was tied up, he was taken advantage of, and he never should have been. This was a kid, he should have been able to have a childhood, and that was taken away from him, that sort of innocence. And he obviously wants to be a private person because of what happened to him. But at least he's opening up to Tharn, and he's telling him stuff. That shows that their relationship is starting to head in the right direction. I really like their nosy uh, neighbours. They have a nice little seen here or there not enough to really get to know them but there's some sort of attraction between them there has to be because of just the things that are said the music that they play when they're speaking they're they're obviously i think they might get together in the end i could be wrong but you never know with these shows that random couple might just come out of nowhere in episode 9 or 10. Uh, Type cares about Tharn's opinion of him. We could see that from 
when they first started interacting after the incident, he doesn't want Than to hate him, but at the same time, he can't help but open his mouth. And he, again, he loves to touch his chest. If you look, every time they corner one another, he type always touches Than's chest. That is actual a movement that people do when they're attracted to someone. They touch them in an intimate manner. It's very intimate. But that flashback where he was talking to the two people that I'm not particularly fond of, that was a really long flashback. It felt like they were just trying to flesh out the episode because these are quite long episodes. I didn't expect them to be an hour. I thought maybe 45 minutes, but I don't know how commercials work over there. Whereas you, know, you when you see a show that's usually an hour long, it's commercials. But yeah, that flashback was really long, but necessary to a degree. I know it was just more to push the story along and get tight to understand what Thorn did, find out that he's attracted to him, see his reaction to that, bring them closer. But I don't know if it was really necessary. I feel the story could have still progressed even without that. Type saying he would only sleep with Thorn once. Yeah, okay, we know that's a lie because why would you only sleep with them once when you know that you can sleep with them multiple times or in the same room as you? So if you need a release, they're there. Also, you're the one who brought it up and wanted to have sex with him because of repayment, which makes no sense to me. Why would that even be in your mind as repayment? He has never once tried to get sex from you as a repayment. He's been a bit handsy with you, but he has never tried to outright have sex with you. And also, we find out, literally in the same episode, that having sex more than once, so even cuddling together, that's a very romantic, intimate thing. So the storyline has really pushed forward. And they're guessing, each episode is getting better. And I think it's because we're getting to know the characters a bit more. They're not so one-dimensional. They have backstories. They're talking to one another. Then you also have Techno, who breaks up the scenes with comedy. And the fact that you can tell he knows something's going on, but he doesn't want to say it outright because of type's aggressive nature. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will see you next week with episode 5.